my name is Julie Hartel Donardo. I'm a lead keeper here at the Oakland Zoo and I'm in front of our dromedary camel exhibit today. And these are dromedary camels um, and we have four camels in our group but our two youngest camels are 12 and 13 months old right now. The two younger girls came from Gladys Porter Zoo which is in Brownsville, Texas and they arrived in August of this year and they've been in quarantine and then we've been slowly introducing them to other parts of their barn, other start to parts of their corral, and then um, most recently out on the exhibit and to the adult camels. They're half sisters, um, but we have one who is more, uh, her hair color is a little browner, um, and so she's a brunette, and then we have one whose hair is a little bit more sandy blondish, so she's the blonde. Um, and they are, the blonder one is a month younger than the brunette, um, but the brunette was bottle raised um, at the institution that she came from. So she's a little bit smaller in size, um, but she's very nice camel. They're both very nice, and they're doing really well with the adults, and um, they've been really fun to work with. Dromedary camels actually are not found in the wild anymore. They're a domestic breed of camel. Camels eat a balanced camel diet. Um, they eat a lot of uh, hay and we have some special fortified food that's just made for um, special types of hoofstock that they get. Um, so there's two types of camels. There's dromedary and bactrian and the difference is the dromedary have one hump and the bactrian have two humps. Um, and an easy way to remember that is the letter D has one hump and the letter B has two humps. So dromedary camels have one, are one humped camels. The hump, frequently there's a misconception that the hump is used for water storage, but actually the hump is a fat storage. So they store fat reserves and they just kind of bulk up for extra long trips and have a reserve of calories basically in the hump. So it is not a water storage unit. What will visitors see when they come over to the exhibit to see the camels? Um, most days they will see all four of our camels out on exhibit. Um, we'll have two adults and the two younger girls on exhibit. Um, some days earlier in the day or later in the day we might only have two of the camels out um, just moving animals around. Um, but the younger girls uh, explore the entire exhibit so um, when you come up to, to the front of the exhibit you might have to look hard to see where they happen to be that day at that time because they definitely are exploring all of the new space they have available to them.